So this is my short review of the uh, Jalira Runner 200. So if you've not seen one of these before, they are a single cylinder, four stroke, liquid cooled engine with an automatic transmission. And one of the first things you notice when you climb on it is that it's quite a tall bike. Um, I'm used to riding a lot of different scooters, but it kind of feels short in length and, and sort of high. So if you're a bigger sort of chap, that's got to be a good thing, I guess. Now the 200 is obviously a little bit bigger than the 125, but you might be tempted to think, well, it's going to be hardly any difference. But actually, the acceleration on this is actually quite, quite sharp, really. As for the value of it, um, this one's a 2004, and I guess it's probably worth a thousand pounds or something around thereabouts maybe not quite as much but just this acceleration here sort of from now to sort of it really does go quite well that's quite respectable performance there and it gets up to sort of 50 miles an hour without any trouble it will hold there for any length of time now i would say the seat feels fairly small if you think you're taking two people on it um, I feel behind me that the seat is small, so a smaller person on the back would be okay. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting further forward on the seat like that, and that's not quite so comfortable, of course. So anyway, first impressions are it's tall. It's probably going to be quite economical. You do notice um, the engine is feels a bit old-fashioned. It's a four-stroke, and you can kind of feel it kind of pulsing away, but a lot of these more modern Japanese 125, single cylinder four looks a bit smoother these days and it does feel a bit more sort of 1990s but anyway that's no real criticism of it it's quite nice so there we go that's us done